there are those that say you cannot win we're not organized we're not united they have the army the military they have all this international support from rich financial backers what do we have we have a few rednecks with rifles No, we can't win. We can't win. We don't have to. Um, the defender only has to survive, the aggressor must win. God has already won the battle for you. You just got to suit up and do the legwork. Freedom is never free. And the path to freedom is truth. And the truth of yourself. No, the truth. God. And when I say God, I'm not saying a name. It's a title. What is God? What is a God? Perhaps I should use the term Elohim, Father. I'm not talking about a sky daddy. He doesn't live in the sky. When we say Father in heaven. We refer to a different place of existence different plane of existence. Uh, how so many of you can believe in multiverses you have trouble with Heavenly Father who exists outside of time and space yet is influenced in all of time and space. You have trouble with it. You understand clearly the two-dimensional analogy, the 2D world analogy, yet you still do not understand. And those of you that worship the natural world, what is it that gives the natural world life itself? What is that energy force that gives life to things? What is the quickening? Things are what they are, and they are how they are. And they will be how they will be. Your place is to be who you are and do what you are here for. If you don't know what that is, then you need to seek the one who can tell you. Let his spirit guide you. Because it sees above all these things. Just as the three dimensional man sees above the 2D world. Man's knowledge and wisdom is folly to that which is above. Peace, love, and understanding. I'll be with you all. Have a good day.